Hi, everybody. I'm Greg Cockrell with Wolf Entertainment, and I'm here today with two of the newest members of the Wolf Entertainment family, Mark Durstowitz and Chris Hull. And together, they have written a very impressive new musical. It's a rock opera called Water, Inc., as in Water Incorporated. And they've both been nice enough to uh, join me this afternoon to talk about it. Chris, Mark, it's uh, very nice to meet both of you. Thanks for doing this. It's very nice to be here. Thanks for inviting us. I have uh, immersed myself in the production of Water, Inc. for the last few days. And it's, uh, it's really an impressive piece of work. The uh, musicianship, the singing, uh, the acting. I've seen a couple of videos of where you've staged the production. It's all very professional. Uh, and, of course, the, uh, the, the music and everything has been uh, mixed by our friend Helmut Wolf at Wolf Entertainment. So the sound is fantastic. The yeah. production quality is great. The artwork's beautiful. Uh, you've got a great uh, great production here. And I know you're part of a, a larger group of people called Mad Men and Dreamers. Yes. <laughs> and then they make up the cast of this production. Is that correct? Mad Men and Dreamers is kind of a traveling circus. Uh, we, we, Chris and I are the core of it. And then we, we generally hire on musicians and then we, and then we cast. So we, we put out an open casting call and, and people come in and then it's the hard, then it's the difficult job of, of picking between them because they're generally so good when, when they come in. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of talent here. I can tell. I mean, I listen to the whole thing and it's, uh, the, the, uh, the musicianship is really high quality. I guess. Singing. I, you two are in the production. That's correct. Yes. And who sings the part of Sophia? Is that you, Chris? That is me. That is a fantastic voice you've got. You're a great singer. <laughs> and, uh, he can sing. <laughs> what do you do, Mark? I think you said you play the piano. Are you the? Are you? In I'm the, the keyboard player. Yeah, it's it's really some wonderful music. And Thank you. I know nobody's really familiar with the 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 plot yet. So let me just kind of encapsulate it because it's mm -hmm. such a great story. That, um, that really holds your attention till the very end. There's some amazing plot twists. I won't give away any, <laughs> any yeah, don't give away. <laughs> no spoilers here. But I mean, it's, a, it's, a long, it's an epic story that yeah. follows a, a family um, in a, sort of an apocalyptic uh, version of America that's maybe not in the too distant future where climate change has wreaked havoc on the planet and water has become the new oil. And exactly. what a surprise, rich people and evil people and rich corporations are trying to exploit the water and own it to the detriment and the suffering of the rest of the planet. It's a, it's a heck of a story. And I, I couldn't help but noticing many parallels uh, to the world we live in today. I'm sure that, that, that yes. in your mind when you created, when you created this. Yes. When, when we, when we, after we finished the, the regional tour of our first project, we realized that what we should be, should be doing is taking issues that need to be really, really uh, talked about in society and then writing about those. And we settled on, on climate change with this and we distilled it down into, it was a fascinating exercise, we distilled it down into a small group of people that everybody could identify with. Right. Well, it's a heck of a story and it, it, it's, it's a very believable story. I have a feeling there's even some things like this that are probably happening in the world today. People are being are. displaced because of water, being displaced because of climate change. And anytime something like that happens, it, uh, it opens the door for, for bad people to come in and to exploit the situation. It's going on in a lot of places. There are companies that are pumping out aquifers in state forests on pennies to the, uh, pennies to the gallon. And then they're selling it, you know, at like three, four five dollars a liter. And the, the, their permits have been expired for 20 years. Yeah, so it's one of those stories uh, that I think as people follow it and, and watch it, they'll be able to very much connect with because you can just envision it happening today. It is happening today already. What do you, uh, I know you, you, you've staged the production a few times. What's your, what's your hopes or your plans for the future? How would you like to see this unfold and, and what kind of impact do you think it can make? I really think that the more people we play it for, the more good we will be able to do. The idea is to get people thinking on a very personal level what, what climate change is doing or is going to do to them. Part of our, part of our uh, process, though, is we take some of the, the proceeds and we donate it to area uh, uh, environmental groups. The, the, the 
The first uh, six shows, three of them went to the Catawba Riverkeeper and three of them went to the North Carolina Conservation Network uh, out here. And then when, when it was broadcast on stage, it, we, we gave that money to North Carolina, uh, the, same, the same group, uh, yeah. wow. <laughs> Conservation Network in North Carolina. <laughs> but, That's fantastic. Uh, well, we feel very strongly that, that it, should, it, should, um, it should make something happen. You know, it's, we can't just play the show and leave. The stakes are too high. Yeah. One of the realizations that we had with our first project was that our mission was not only to make music, it was to make a difference. Right. I love it when artists do that because artists are our are, are, are conscience. Our artists are our canary in the coal mine. I mean, they're the ones that... Uh, to really uh, deal with the issues that maybe a lot of times people are a little too uncomfortable to deal with. And, and then they kind of put it in a way that, uh, that nobody else can. And you've, you've really done artists, it. This show. Artists are society's immune system. That's a great way. I think I've heard you say that before. Yeah, I've said, I've said it before. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a really great point. Well, you guys didn't just uh, wake up one day and, and, and write this, this thing. How did you evolve to this point? What kind of what kind of music and productions were you into when you were growing up? What kind of, we're probably similar uh, in age. You might be uh, a bit younger than me, but what kind of, how did you guys, uh, did you grow up here on the East coast? What kind of music and yes. influences did you have? Uh, for me, it was, you know, early Elton John, the, the man was and is an incredible piano player, you know, and I studied his stuff, you know, really carefully when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I listened to every single album, you know, that I could get my hands on. And then later, I was introduced to Pink Floyd. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. You know, and, and a lot of classical music. My mother was into, uh, you know, Broadway show tunes and stuff like that. And, um, and I've always been fascinated by really dramatic orchestral works. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some list, some list stuff, Wagner stuff, Beethoven's symphonies, uh, the Mozart's The Great Requiem Mass. Chris has very different background than I do though. <laughs> yeah, my favorite recording artist when I was younger was Billy Joel, and uh -huh. I would say he's still right up there. Mm -hmm. But I also have a theatrical background, yeah. so musical theater is my background. And between my musical theater background and Mark's rock and roll background, mm -hmm. when you put them together, you get rock musicals. Yeah. So I love, I love the way that works. <laughs> Uh, so we're big fans of Godspell yeah. and mm -hmm. uh, The Wall and Tommy and JC Superstar. Fantastic. Yeah. Les Mis. Les Mis. Yeah, so man, I would uh, say that theatrically, as far as musical theater is concerned, those were definitely influences for us. Yeah, I really fell in love with the music from um, Sweeney Todd as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it just The first time I heard it, I was like, what is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Well, you're you're really hitting all of my uh, my cultural buttons here too, because uh, I grew up with a lot of the same influences. Now I have a daughter who's uh, uh, a theater kid, and she's introduced me to a lot of uh, classic Broadway that I didn't uh, wasn't really familiar with before. And it's amazing how those influences can connect and overlap and and, and really complement each other, isn't it? Yeah, they they seep into you. It's it's really it's really unusual. Yeah. What I think that we have is a very original, very singular sound, uh, because because of the way that the music is is uh, is is produced and, and and arranged. Yeah, are there any plans right now to stage this again? I, I've seen some videos of of past performances. It looks just fantastic. What do you do? You have any plans right now? I'd love to see it uh, staged uh, sometime in the future. Oh, we would, we would too. That's yes. what we're working for. That's yeah. what we're working for right now is, is getting more, more uh, performances out yeah. there. So what you've seen was a workshop production. So okay. we've taken this piece through the development process. Mm -hmm. And so we would, we would really like to go full production with it. I got you. Well, uh, hopefully we can, we can help with that. I know, uh, Wolf Entertainment will be releasing the entire package in, I think, uh, is it the 31st of this month yep. that's planned to it's come May out? May 31st. So May 31st, it'll come out. Anybody watching this video will will see a link to where they can find out more information about it uh, and, 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 and watch it and listen to it. And uh, I hope it catches on and catches fire. It's something that deserves to be seen, deserves to be heard. It's got an important message. It's very timely. And I think it's going to connect with a lot of people on a lot of different levels. You've got a, a, a real rock and roll element in there. The, the musicianship, there's some serious guitar shredding in there. And it's so. Uh, yeah, Brent is, Brent is a cool guy. 
<laughs> You've got a great cast of characters here. So uh, I'm really uh, interested in seeing the final project. Uh, Wolf Entertainment uh, will be releasing it on all platforms on the 31st of this month. And uh, I, I really congratulate you on a, a, on a, on a wonderful production here. You've, you've created a great thing. I hope it catches on. We're going to do our part to spread the word. And uh, I, I congratulate you and hope I get a chance to meet you and see it on stage someday. We likewise. do too. Likewise, yeah, yes. Li likewise, that's, that's what we're looking for. When Helmut and I started the initial conversations about this, you know, I, I said this, this is not the kind of thing we can just release on a CD or, or whatever and have it, right. have it make the impact. The live show is very, very important for the impact. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, there, there are a couple of spaces you know, in the second act where you've got an instrumental and there's so many things going on in that instrumental that you can see, but you, you, can't, you, know, you, mm -hmm. can't, you can't get it I got you. Uh, from the thing. So it's, you know, the, the live show is going to be really, really important. It's something yeah, that it, needs to be seen as well as heard. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, and it's more, more than raising awareness. We would like to also give people some agency to get yes. involved, mm -hmm. uh, either with groups that already exist or maybe starting their own groups to, to help combat sure. climate change. You've, you've seen me use the, the hashtag online, get involved, right. uh, like, like on, on our Twitter you know, and stuff like that. And uh, well, it's X now, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, and on, on the band's Facebook page and, and whatnot, because that's really what we need to do. The more people involved, the more pressure we'll be able to put on our elected officials. Sure. Yeah, you ought to have a, a, a voter registration booth at every uh, every performance. And <laughs> that's uh, a great idea. And and also maybe just some information. You know, people want to find. Not that people are need to be convinced about climate change these days, but there's there's information that that people could use. I think that would help them. Uh, you know, influence their own opinions and, and inform their own decisions going forward on things like this. It's very, it's very important. I think a lot of people think that there's really nothing they can do as a person except, you know, like, like recycle and stuff like right. that. Um, we have a lot of uh, friends in the activist community up north. And you, you hang around with these people, you work with these people, and you learn an awful lot about, about how this is done. And there are ways to do this. There are people can take action in their own communities with issues that are going on there, you know, even to the point of, of lobbying, you know, without money, obviously, but lobbying their elected officials to, to stop things or to make changes. Yes, we are not helpless. Uh, no, we are not. People have the power. And uh, when people yes. get, get motivated and inspired, uh, they're more likely to use that power. So you've done a really good thing here. You've, look, you got a, you got the Wolf Entertainment team behind you now. So we're going to do our yes. best to push this out there. Put it out there and tell people about it. I've got a couple of uh, uh, blogs that I uh, write. I'll make sure I tell everybody about it on that. And uh, we'll look forward to the release date on May the 31st. Uh, some of my favorite people in life have been Mad Men and Dreamers. So <laughs> I want to include you in that group now. Um, it's been a real pleasure meeting you and talking to Bye -bye. you and, and discovering uh, the beauty in this work. And I'm going to do my best to make sure everybody else gets a chance to hear it too. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I hope we get a chance to meet uh, in the future and we'll talk again. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you're living my old stomping grounds. <laughs> We're close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will see you at the theater, my friends. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye.